Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, I will share a short video on how to configure a DHCP server with a DHCP relay using Microtic routers and a Cisco switch. In the diagram, I have a Microtic router for the DHCP server. A Cisco switch for the first DHCP relay and another Microtik router for the other DHCP relay. For our task, both PC1 and PC2 must obtain an IP address automatically from their respective networks. The link facing the Cisco switch is a trunk mode, and we will use VLAN 100 for the interconnection. While the link facing Microtik 2 is a point to point connection. Let us begin the configuration in Microtik 1 for the DHCP server. First, let us set up the link connection and configure the assigned IP addresses. Create a bridge port for VLAN 100. Next, configure the IP addresses. First is the link facing switch 1 via bridge VLAN 100. Then the point to point link facing Microtic 2. Create a trunk interface facing switch 1. Then go to bridge. Add new bridge ports. Bind the trunk interface to the bridge. Next, go to Microtik 2 and configure the interfaces and IP addresses. Create a bridge for Network 2. Then configure the point-to-point -point IP address facing Microtic 1. Conduct ping testing to verify the connectivity. Now go to switch 1 and set up the basic configuration. Create VLAN 100 and VLAN 200. Create a trunk interface facing Microtik 1. Then tag VLAN 100. Configure an access interface facing PC1. Then untag VLAN 200. Next, create interface VLAN 100. Then configure the point to point IP address facing Microtik 1. Then interface VLAN 200.
Make sure that Switch 1 can reach Microtik 1 via VLAN 100 network. Ping is successful. Now let us go back to Microtik 1 and set up the DHCP servers for both Network 1 and 2. Create an IP pool for Network 1 and Network 2. Next, click IP then DHCP server. Go to Network tab. Then add Network 1 and Network 2. Configure the gateway address. Then DNS server address. Then create two DHCP server for the two networks. For network 1, set the desired name. Then the interface. Here it is, bridge VLAN 100 facing switch 1. Then the relay is the IP address of the interface facing PC1. Disable conflict detection. Then select the address pool. It is optional to edit the default lease time. Repeat the same configurations for network 2. Next, Create two static routes in Microtic 1. One facing Network 1 via the link facing Switch 1. And facing Network 2 via the link facing Microtic 2. Now go to switch 1 and set up DHCP Relay 1. In Cisco, use the command IP helper address followed by the next hop IP address to enable DHCP Relay. Apply the command under the interface facing client. Next, let us set up Microtik 2 for DHCP Relay 2. Configure the IP address for Network 2. Then go to IP then DHCP Relay. Set the name. Then the interface for Network 2. For the DHCP server, input the IP address of the next hop interface. The local address is the IP address of the local network facing PC2. Untag bridge Network 2 to the access interface facing PC2.
Now go to PC1 and PC2 and check if they can obtain an IP address from their respective networks. PC2 obtained an IP address from Network 2 dynamically. Additional details can be validated on the DHCP server leases. The same status in PC1. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.